Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I'm your GPR professor at LearnGPR.com and I'm coming to you today from the New Orleans airport. I was just uh, at a meet conference here in, in New Orleans, a meeting, and um, I figured, you know, while I was working on something and, and I had a message to share, I'd go ahead and share it. So I'll turn the camera around and kind of show you what I'm working on and what the important point is here is, uh, first of all, we get ugly data, okay? I'm gonna be straight up honest. I'm gonna turn it back around uh, from, from me, okay, talking to you. Look, we get ugly data. We get it all the time, you know, not on every project, but it's out there. I mean, there are bad conditions. There are uh, sources of noise that can influence the quality of the GPR data. Um, I am not afraid to say that we collect ugly looking, problematic data sometimes. If you look at my LinkedIn feed, it's like everybody else. Uh, has perfect data and apparently I'm the only one who gets who gets poor data but we get it and so what we try to do when we get it is is filter and and, and uh, do the best we can with with what we have and so there are limits to the technology it's an important point okay so now that we've established that uh, that ugly data exists uh, I want to bring a point this was from a project uh, collected with this is GPR slice software um, this is in the, the bandpass and gain uh, filter menu, and um, we distribute the software. If you're interested in a demo or pricing for this, just go ahead and comment or let us know. Go to uh, bigmangeophysical.com or learngpr.com and, and, and reach out to us. And uh, um, I'll go ahead and put some information in the comments. But the po point, point is this. You can see all these problems, right? All these vertical issues here. And you can see what you have is this red line is the distribution of frequencies. So this was conducted, this project was conducted with a 100 megahertz antenna. And you can see we're getting high amplitude responses between about seven megahertz and about 20 megahertz. The reason is, is that in the area we were, that, that this data were collected, there was a military installation. And so it had lots of communications equipment putting out low frequency EM radio pulses that were getting recorded by the GPR. So the point here is that with a useful tool like this frequency plot, right? And so this is, this, this uh, uh, y-axis here is uh, um, amplitude and the x-axis here is, is frequency in megahertz for each trace. Um, and so what you can do in this case is you can identify where that noise is. And it's all low frequency stuff, seven to about 20. And you can clip that out. And remove that noise from the data. Now these data were problematic because the soils were problematic, but I wanted to make a point, which is that, you know, be aware of what's around you. Understand where these noise might be coming from um, and use a function like this to identify what frequency the noise is coming in at so you can try to remove it and again show you kind of the difference right so that's how it was collected raw and then but this is uh, filtered out as so you can see it removes a lot of that opening up possibilities for more uh, interpretations so I hope this was you know, valuable to you. Um, if you're interested in learning more about data processing, reach out to us. If you're interested in, in getting a demo of the GPR Slice software program, very powerful, uh, reach out to us. And if you have not done so, subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please click the like button and make sure to go to learngpr.com, put your name and email address in, and you'll get access to our free uh, introductory webinar. And we will send you emails with upcoming trainings and free videos uh, every single week. So I hope this was helpful. Good luck surveying. See you soon.